Hello everyone, welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on storage modes. Let's dive in. There's two main storage modes in the SEO Spider. You can go to configuration, system storage to see them. The default storage mode is memory storage mode. This stores all crawl data in RAM. This is fine for smaller crawls up to around 100,000 URLs. However, the larger the crawl, the more RAM that is used. Most desktop machines have eight gigabyte of RAM or more these days, but there is a better way to crawl at scale without it impacting your machine's performance. And that's using database storage mode. This is our recommended storage mode for anyone with an SSD or faster, regardless of how much you're crawling because there are other benefits as well. However, this mode stores all crawl data to disk and allows you to crawl at scale. By default, the SA Spider allocates two gigabyte of RAM in database storage mode. So it should be good for up to around about 1 million URLs. You can crawl more than that as well by configuring the memory option, which we won't go into in this video. However, there are also other benefits. First of all, it auto saves your crawls. So if I crawl the Screaming Frog website and stop it, we can see that I've crawled around 40 URLs. If I simply clear that, it's actually auto saved. I can go to file, crawls and there's that crawl it has been auto saved to this menu here which shows an archive of all your crawls which you can click on and simply open very quickly and this is significantly quicker opening old crawls in database storage mode than in memory storage mode there's one final benefit as well if your machine decides to restart due to an os update you accidentally clear a crawl or have a power cut or or have a crash the crawl is generally retained and isn't lost. So you can simply go to the file crawls menu and it should still appear in here so you can resume the crawl. If you don't have an SSD, then stick to RAM storage mode. You can still save crawls and crawl lots of URLs if you have plenty of RAM available. However, we do recommend using database storage mode for the majority of users who have SSDs. Thanks.